need to make crepes. So we need five large eggs. We need shredded flour. Just put about 100 grams. We might need more, we might need less. Uh, table salt and extra virgin olive oil. Now we get eggs and we need to make sure we break the top part of the egg. And I'll explain to you why later. Now let's break the egg on the top. Just like this. And put it there. Now we need to keep this one. Just break it now, but we don't need this. And let's throw the eggs in here. But you can break them straight away in this bowl. After you. Now we need to mix it with this. You can use a mixer, a machine, electric machine, but I'm gonna use this like the old fashioned way. And we just need to be very, very quick. We need to do this. So when you see the froth in the eggs, that means it's, it's okay, it's good, it's ready. So now we need to get the egg that we have left and we need to get five eggs, like five of this, with water. So now, see, now we have this one full of water, so we need to put, do this five times. Now we need to add salt. Now we put the salt. A little bit of uh, olive oil, just a tiny bit, not too much. Maybe a tablespoon. And now we need to mix it again. Like this. And now it's more frothy. That's what you want. So now we're gonna put the flour in there, but not everything, because now we need to see how the eggs react. So we can't put the whole flour. Otherwise it's gonna go too hard. So we just put a little bit, just to test it. Now we mix it. Okay, we put more. So it's still running. Okay, we, we don't want this to be too runny, but we don't want this to be too dense. It has to be dense runny, more, a little bit more runny than dense, if it makes sense. Okay, we can put a little bit more. You can't tell how much you need because it depends on how big the eggs are. It depends on the country where you live. In some country, the, leg, the large egg is like big. I did use all the flour. Now, to test it, if uh, this is good and runny enough, you need to get a spoon like this, nice and deep, and we test it. So we get it like this, so it's like this. Now, for the crepes, we need to get a little saucepan like this, and we need to put some olive oil, not much, maybe two tablespoons. And then we just do this once it's warm. So we keep it there for about a minute. So now we need to get some kitchen paper. And we just uh, clean the saucepan to get rid of the oil. And now we're going to keep the paper with us on the side because we might need it later on. Now, we start with the first crepe. See, this is a nice and deep spoon. You just wanna do half of this. This is very important and very technical, this part. Now, this is warm. We need to put it on like this and move it while we put it on. So like this. You need to go like this. And then you need to make sure you go everywhere like that to be able to create a crepe. See? Now we need to get a fork to help us to move the crepe. So it probably take about 20 seconds just to cook one side. So now we get a fork to help us to move the crepe and turn it to the other side for about 20-30 more seconds, like this, at a medium-low heat.